Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to share with you this amazing granola recipe that I created myself. I've been working on this recipe for about a year now and I feel like I finally perfected it. And it's such a simple recipe. It's just a few ingredients and it tastes so delicious. And the way I make it is 100% guilt-free. A very healthy granola recipe. It's actually 100% free of added sugar. It is gluten and dairy free and I use all organic ingredients. So it tastes so delicious and I cannot wait to show you guys how to make this very simple, healthy granola recipe. So the first ingredient for this granola is a muesli mix. This is my favorite brand of muesli because it's 100% organic and gluten-free and it doesn't have any added sugar. You will also need vanilla extract and cinnamon and then coconut oil, and you'll need two eggs. Now, I always use all organic ingredients because I don't like eating food with chemicals in it from pesticides, because it just wears me down and makes me have low energy and causes gut issues for me. And organic food tastes so much better as well. So it'll have so much more flavor if you use all organic ingredients. If you would prefer to have your granola taste sweeter, then you can add in some coconut sugar or some honey. You could also do Lakanto monk fruit sweetener. This is commonly used in keto recipes. It's sugar free and has no calories. I personally don't use honey or coconut sugar anymore and I'll explain why here. I like making my granola without sugar because sugar just doesn't work for my body. I always feel like I have really low energy after I eat anything with added sugar. I even decided to give up coconut sugar and honey just because I just have noticed that when I eat even things like that, I just feel low energy after I eat it and it does make me gain weight and so I think my body is just very sensitive to sugar so I don't eat anything with added sugar anymore. Coconut sugar and honey though are very good alternatives to table sugar or white sugar. Another alternative to sugar is Lakanto monk fruit sweetener. Now I do have this in my pantry for certain recipes. However, I don't like to use it on a regular basis, especially for granola because I've noticed it does cause GI upset. That is one of the side effects of using monk fruit or anything with erythritol. Erythritol is a sugar alcohol, and unfortunately, sometimes this can cause people to have upset tummies, and so I personally do not put this in my granola. It says on the bag that you would do one-to-one, -one. so if the recipe calls for one cup of sugar, you'd use one cup of Lakanto. I have done this before. I don't recommend it because Lakanto monk fruit sweetener tastes 200 times sweeter than regular table sugar. And because of the GI upset side effects, if you are going to use Lakanto, if you do want to add some sweetness but you don't want to have any added actual sugar in your recipes, then you would want to do about one fourth of a cup for every one cup of sugar. So if the recipe says one cup of sugar, then you would want to do a quarter of a cup of Lakanto. Just because it is going to taste sweeter than table sugar and you don't need that much. And then the more you put in, sometimes it's too much and it can cause the tummy upset. So these are the ingredients. It's a very simple granola recipe. You can also change up the flavor of the granola by changing up the spices. Like you could do ground cinnamon with ground ginger an almond extract. If you like pumpkin flavored snacks, then you could try pumpkin pie spice with ground cinnamon and vanilla extract. I personally love adding in spices to my granola because this is going to add more flavor to the granola and it's going to have it taste a little more naturally sweet. So that's why I always add in the cinnamon and the vanilla extract if I just want to make my basic granola recipe. If I want to use a little bit more of a spicier flavor, then I'll do the almond extract with the ginger. You could also do a vanilla powder with lemon flavor extract to give it a lemon flavor. 
I personally love anything that's flavored with lemon, and so that's why sometimes I'll make my granola with a lemon flavor using the lemon extract with a vanilla powder. So first you wanna crack two eggs. I like using a food processor because it just makes your life so much easier than mixing everything up by hand. And then you wanna add a half a cup of coconut oil to the food processor, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then you just wanna blend it up in your food processor and it's super simple, it's super fast, and then pour it into a big mixing bowl with the muesli and mix it all together. If you wanna add some dried fruit to your granola recipe, you could do any of these dried fruits. You can get them at Whole Foods. They don't have any added sugar in them. Even goji berries would work. Once it's all mixed together, you just spread it out on a baking sheet. I like to put parchment paper on the baking sheet first, just so that it won't stick. And then you wanna bake it in the oven at 300 degrees for 20 minutes. As soon as that timer goes off, make sure you take it out because if it's left in there any longer, it could burn. Then you just want to let it cool for an hour. So set another timer for an hour and do not touch it for an hour. Then you can just break off little pieces for your granola once it's 100% cooled, or you can even break off big pieces if you want it to be like a granola cookie. I love putting my granola on top of healthy dessert recipes, like this is mango sticky rice, which is a Thai dessert recipe, and it's just mango with rice that's mixed with coconut milk, and then I'll just sprinkle some granola on top. You can also put it on any other fruit recipes, this is just pomegranates with coconut cream on top. You want to store your granola in a plastic bag or a container. I store mine in the refrigerator and it lasts a while. I usually snack on it a little bit each day for about one to two weeks until it's gone and it's really good. So that is how you make a very simple, healthy granola recipe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys decide to try out my granola recipe, please let me know which spices you use how you flavored your granola, please leave a comment below about whether you liked the flavor of it and how you liked the taste of the granola and how it turned out. I'm so excited to share this recipe with you guys. Please try it out and let me know how you like it.